Okay, so what we're going to work on next here is called the drill tool. Okay, and it's just like it sounds. Um, we're going to drill um, something into another object. Okay, so basically, you sort of think of uh, this letter A as our our drilling object, and we're going to use this cube here as the object that's going to be drilled. Okay, now the object that is going to be doing the drilling must be in the background layer. Okay, so right now it's in the foreground layer, which isn't going to work. Okay, so we pick the object that's going to be drilled, and then we uh, put the uh, the drilling object into the background layer, which is the bottom triangle here. Okay, so if you do this and have them both like that, that that's not going to work. Okay, so the object that's going to be drilled is live, and then the drilling object is in a background layer. Okay, and the way you can tell it's a background layer is the uh, the letters are sort of like a black outline. Okay, so let's uh, undo that for a second. Notice right now the drill you can't access the drill feature, but once we select everything properly, you'll notice it'll become available. So we select the object that's going to be drilled, select the background layer, notice drill becomes accessible. Now let's click on drill. Now the menu opens up. The default ax, uh, usually is on X on the X axis. Okay, because we're going to be drilling down the Z axis, we have to set it to Z. Now let's go up to core. And there's a few different um, different settings that we can use or different types of operations for the template drill here. Um, if I just if I have it axis on X right now. Theoretically, nothing will really happen. Notice the only thing that happened was it deleted our box, and that's not what we want. So let's go Control Z, okay, and let's go back to Solid Drill, okay. Let's click Z because our operation is going down the Z axis, okay. Let's click OK, and there you go. So once again, undo go to drill so we're on core so what it did was it carves out the core of the object so let's click OK it so basically it cores it out okay now another thing undo about the drill feature is that it uses a 2d or a template object to do the to do the drilling or the carving okay um, whereas the solid drill requires a 3D object to do the drilling or the carving. Okay, so this so you'll be using a flat images like this letter A. Now you could use other shapes as well, but I just thought it would be more interesting to use a letter A. A for Adam, that's me. Okay, so let's click on drill again. Let's try tunnel and see what it does. And we keep it on the Z because we're carving down the Z axis or drilling down the Z axis. Okay, that's kind of cool. So you notice it carves out the letter A on both sides. Okay, let's go control Z and let's cl click drill again. Let's do stencil. Now in this case here um, we can give it, it its own surface name. So let's call it Bobbert, just because it's fun. Okay. So you say, okay, wow, okay. So what it did was it stenciled in the letter A, and it actually is its own polygon or two polygons. Okay. Now, if we click on W and we go into surfaces, you'll notice that there is one surface, the name that is default, there's eight polygons, and then there's another surface name called Bobbert, and that's the two A polygons that we created. Okay, let's select it and look, and the Bobbert surface is now selected. Okay, so that's uh, 
So that's pretty cool. And then from there, you can easily just go in and and rename Bobbert. Whoops. You could go in and um, change the color. And that's a quick way to uh, stencil in some colored colored letters on an object. It could be like a kid's building block here. Okay, let's uh, undo that. And let's click on back. To, remember, right on the under the construct tab um, for the uh, for these drilling operations. And let's this time let's do slice. Okay, it, but notice the only time this surface um, area is actually functional is during stencil because you can stencil in a surface name as well. But the other ones, it's uh, it's blocked out. You can't do anything. This option only applies with the operation is set to stencil. There you go. Okay. So slice is very similar to stencil. The only difference is it won't um, give it a surface name. It'll just it'll just make the cut. So it does exactly the same thing. So what it does is it um, what what uh, stencil does. Um, instead of what uh, what stencil does better than what slice does is it makes it so that you can avoid uh, making an extra step. So if we just use slice, I would have to go in manually select these polygons, um, hit the letter Q, give them a surface name, and then you know, and then choose a different color or whatever it is or different you know surface setting for that specific surface. Okay. So basically, undo, whoop, undo. The, uh, the difference between slice and stencil is that with stencil, you can give it a surface, a, pre, a surface name automatically without having to do an extra step. It's all inside of the, uh, this little menu here. Okay. Although you'll have to uh, go into the surface editor to actually change the actual physical attributes like color, specularity, diffuse reflectivity all that kind of stuff okay so that is a very 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 handy tool um, you know it's good for if you want to put make uh, stuff like everything from like I said a child's building block here to making uh, signs that are polygonal versus say if you didn't want to use an image map um, you can carve in um, and template in specific shapes for further modeling um, or should I say, um, techniques, so on and so forth. Um, you could do this kind of stuff to, you know, to a character's T-shirt if you want it. To, instead of having to create an image map, you know, if the character's name is Bob or Sally, you can um, use this template and put it actually onto the actual character uh, character's clothing. You can, well, not just clothing. You can put it onto all sorts of stuff side of a bus, a car, a cloud, anything. Okay. So anyways, that is the, um, the drill tool. Now it isn't just limited to say something just like a box. I have another, um, shape in the background. Okay. Now the one thing you want to make sure of, since I, ha I have this, um, as you can see, I have it lined up in this window here, just like when I had the uh, the box. I make sure that things are lined up and that nothing's hanging off the edge. Otherwise, you might you could possibly get some errors when you're doing this, or light wave will freeze up. Okay, let's uh, let's do the same concept. So this is a curved object. Okay, and once again, let's go switch. We can line up. We can line up our template, you know, and put thing put it where we want. And if we want to put it right dead in the center of the object, that's fine. Okay, let's move down. Okay, let's uh, switch. So I want to carve this letter A into this object here. Okay, or I want to stencil it in. And so the same same concept. We just come over here to drill, 
you can go core and same thing Z because we're going on the Z axis. Click OK and see how now it's made like a curved version of those A's. Okay, so this could be another modeling technique if you want to combine some different shapes. You could make a letter, but it's combined with the shape of a, another object. Okay, let's undo. Um, what else? And we can go back in and, whoops, try drill again. Let's go tunnel. And it carves right through the letter A, just like it did to the box. So that's kind of neat. Um, undo. And drill again. Click stencil. And we could call this Nancy. Bang. And if you go into W and you click on surface, click on Nancy. And it selects all those polygons that are Nancy. And once again, you can go in the surface editor, or give it a surface name if you want, or a certain change the surface colors and all the parameters for because it's a completely different surface now. Let's go undo. And same thing as before. Click on slice, and it'll just stencil that on. And you can do whatever whatever kind of things you want to do from here. Okay, you could, you know, maybe you could select those polygons, bevel them out. Same as same as if you would have done um, same as if if you would have uh, done stencil. You could bevel, select those polygons, bevel them out, so on and so forth. Okay, so like I said, you can do what we just did here on different shapes other than a box and a cylinder. Okay? Um, so I uh, think we are finished with that tool. I think you have the basics of it. Uh, I would suggest getting in here and testing stuff out. Remember, it doesn't have to just be letters. It can be all different kinds of shapes. It could be, you know, you could, it could be circles, squares. It could be star shapes, anything that you could imagine. It could be a company logo um, that you're um, templating onto a surface and carving, carving in. Okay, so very, very um, handy tool. Okay, so we'll stop here and we'll be right back.